for many people, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are couple goals. Markle is beautiful. Harry is handsome, they both seem to genuinely care about one another, and are able to handle all of the things that the public throws at them. Their whirlwind romance was like a movie. They met in 2016 and by 2018, were married. Earlier this year, they welcomed their first child, Archie Harrison Mountbatten-Windsor, into the royal family. Though Markle and Prince Harry will definitely be raising baby Archie, along with some trusted helpers, they don't have full custody of the child. Who has custody of baby Archie? In most cases where the parents are married, they share full custody of their children. But that is not how it is for baby Archie, or his royal cousins Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. According to a 1717 law, the reigning monarch's right of supervision extended to his grandchildren and this right of right belongs to his majesty, king of the realm, even during their father's lifetime. Which means that the queen technically has custody of baby Archie, according to the Latin times. The sovereign has legal custody of the minor grandchildren, said royal expert Marlene Koenig. This goes back to King George I, who ruled in the early 1700s and the law's never been changed. Though the Queen can pretty much control what happens to Archie, she doesn't typically use this power. I would doubt that the Queen would interfere, Koenig said. It's more of a formality, I think the Queen has let her children raise their kids. The Queen would probably only utilize this authority in cases of extreme need or if one of the children was in danger of being harmed in some way. What happens if Prince Harry and Meghan Markle get divorced? Royal divorces are not unprecedented. In fact, sometimes they are encouraged. Queen Elizabeth II actually recommended that Prince Harry's parents Prince Charles and Princess Diana get divorced after Diana gave an interview in 1995 saying that there were outside forces controlling her marriage. Well, there were three of us in the marriage, so it was a bit crowded, she said. After the interview, the Queen wrote a letter to the estranged couple telling them to get a divorce and be done with it. Given the choice, she would have stayed and tried to make a happy marriage, Princess Diana's personal trainer, Jenny Rivet once said. She loved Charles, she was sad about it. She wanted to be a loving wife. When a royal couple gets divorced, the children still live the royal lifestyle. According to some reports, at the time of her death, Princess Diana had not seen her children in nearly a month. So, if Markle and Harry got divorced, the same would probably be true for the former starlet. She would most likely be allowed to go wherever she wanted, but baby Archie would have to stay with Prince Harry. Markle would still remain royal, just like her mother-in-law did post-divorce, as she has already given birth to a royal heir.